And I'll answer that question and close all at the same time. So for the women in the room, men don't need women showing up like men in skirts. They don't need like thinking to create change. It's in your difference that you have something to contribute. So own your difference. Show up as a woman, own your woman qualities, and bring your strengths to the table because that's what we all need to move us forward, whether it's in business or with a global issue. And so I feel like the case for masculine energy or the masculine attributes or what the masculine portion has to bring to business has been made. Timetable, schedule, force, control, push. There's a, there's a case already made for why that's important. And I want you to know that I believe that's important. But there's also important for female energy to come to the table. And so I just want to take a step back for a moment and make the case for that. As human beings, we all have masculine and feminine energy. And we either swing one way or the other. And I want you to consider that as human beings, we all need to embrace, or said a different way, there's an opportunity for us all to embrace our female energy or qualities. Why? Because when you embrace your feminine energy or your feminine qualities, it makes you a better listener. And when you're a better listener, you're able to ask better questions. And when you ask better questions, you close more sales. So it could be said that when you embrace your feminine energy, it makes you a better salesperson. And I also would like to say that when you embrace your feminine energy, it enables you to lead from the heart. When you're able to lead from the heart, you're able to evoke emotion in other human beings. When you're able to evoke emotion in another human being, you're able to engage action. When you're able to engage action, you're able to have people either clean their room or align to your strategic vision. And so there's two female leaders I'd like to bring to the forefront. You have Hillary Clinton in her masculine energy and Princess Diana in her feminine energy. And I just want you to take a moment to think about how does Hillary Clinton engage you as a woman and as a man? Like if you're a man or a woman, how does she engage you? And how did Princess Diana engage you? One wanted to rule a country, one wanted to be the queen of your hearts. So it could be said that when you own your feminine energy, it makes you a better leader because you lead from the heart. And when you own your feminine energy, it enables you to express yourself authentically and fully, expressing both your feminine and your masculine energy. And when you're able to express both and express yourself fully, it will bring you more joy and more fulfillment in life. So it could be said that when you own your feminine energy, it brings you more joy and more fulfillment in life. So the case for owning your feminine energy and feminine qualities is that it makes you a better salesperson, it makes you a better leader, and it brings you more joy and fulfillment in life. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to thank you.